Welcome to Chi Talk. This is part four of a series of five on weight management. And today we're going to be talking about tea and uh, the benefits of how tea uh, has on, on the body as far as weight uh, management or weight loss. Uh, before I get into the details about the teas that we have, uh, first I'd like to share with you a little story of uh, Kung Fu uh, master and his student. And uh, there was this student that wanted to learn Kung Fu. And so he was eager and, and ready to learn and was there early uh, to train. And after about an hour of training one morning, the master said to the student, Okay, enough for the day. Let's sit down and have some tea. The student was perplexed and didn't know what to say. and was still ready to go and, and had lots of energy. So he was sitting there reluctantly. Um, and the master saw this and he kept pouring the tea and pouring the tea. And eventually the tea overflowed in the cup and was spilling everywhere. And that was when the student said to the master, Master, what are you doing? The, the cup is full. Why do you keep pouring? Then the master looked at the student and said, Ah, you understand. So we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock sharp. So my point basically is simple. It's really about absorption, 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 like I had said previously in uh, series three, but also the quality. Quality is very important. And that's why we want to address quality, not necessarily quantity. Now, how does tea help with weight loss? Well, there's a couple reasons it helps. One, it helps because it's warm. And warm liquids or fluids are very good for the digestive system. Now, you can drink warm water or hot water, but that's not too much fun. I mean, uh, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, for example, and you order Chinese food, it, it, typically, if you're Caucasian, they'll give you ice water. And if you're Chinese, they'll give you tea. And the simple fact is because it's part of the culture. And they know that drinking warm fluids is good for digestion. Just imagine your stomach being a walk. Okay, and there's a flame, that's a digestive fire. You put in ice water, well, what happens to that digestive fire? Well, it diminishes, it's gone. But when you put warm fluids in, it doesn't take much for it to heat up. Okay, so you're not wasting a lot of energy or, or you know, diminishing the, the digestive flame, so to speak. So, tea is a great way to, to do that, and you get other added benefits from drinking tea. Uh, like uh, anti-cancer uh, fighting properties, you get uh, antioxidants. So it's a great way to, to get other benefit. Now, what I'm going to talk today about is uh, poor teas. We have two per poors. We have a green leaf poor and a dark leaf poor. And um, today I'll be making a poor, the green leaf. Now, this green leaf poor happens to be um, very good for digestion because it, well, they're both very good for that matter because they help with lowering cholesterol, lowering blood pressure. So they're heart healthy. Okay, and, and the Chinese typically drink them as a way to, to cut the, the, the grease or, or fats, and that's what they do. So they would drink that with a rich meal. Now, you can drink it regularly, it's not, not a problem, okay? But the green leaf pour comes from a thousand, thousand year old tea tree, okay? And uh, the, the dark one comes from a 500 year old tea trees. Okay, and they're both, both organic and, of course, not sprayed, which is very, very important. Now, the other reason why we want loose leaf and not, not like a, a tea bag, because the, the loose leaf egg, number one, has all the essential oils, which is very important, okay? Uh, when you have a loose leaf, you're going to have the leftovers, even if it's organic, mind you, you're going to have the leftovers in that tea bag. And what essentially is going to happen is, is you're going to get the, the leftovers and you're not going to get those essential oils because it's all chopped up and you can't see that because it's in the tea bag. But with a loose leaf, you can see the quality. You'll see the leaf expand and you'll get the oils on top of your tea, which are very, very beneficial. Okay? So today I'm going to pour some tea. I'll do some Kung Fu tea for you today. Okay? So we could get some hot water and we'll pour it into my teapot. And I only use maybe the size of a loony, okay, in there. And no more than 10 seconds. Push the button, and it's done. The benefit of this is a couple of things. One, I use a little bit of tea, which then goes a long way. I can do this about 10 times or even more a day. And um, uh, by, by separating the water from the tea, then it allows the tea to be reused. It's not going to keep soaking, okay? So I take it out. 
T. Now, there's also other practices with the T. You want to be one with your T. And that goes with eating as well, of course, being one and being in the moment. But a simple way to enjoy your T is to smell it. By smelling it, you're going to get the aroma. And that's going to help center you and relax you. Because it's like aromatherapy, essentially. And you can see the oils in it as well from the full leaf. Two, you're going to sip it. On the tip of your tongue, you hold it for a minute. And then just kind of get the flavor. And then three, of course, you'll drink it. So you're not just gulping it down. And then you drink it. And that, essentially, is how you do Gung Fu tea. So I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you next time on Chi Talk.